talk about him. She don't wanna talk about him. He had everything a girl could ever possibly imagine that would throw you off your course. No remorse, cause every thought you had was to grab him and devour him. I don't wanna talk about him. She don't wanna talk about him. For a year I was fine, I would take the every ride. I would file, I would type, often working overnight. Then he did something to me that would permanently fool me, fail me, derail me. He looked out the window. He looked out the window. without you and the promotion to Paris to mean only one thing. Maxwell Roberts had fallen for the feigning fainter and I foolishly to my eternal regret believed he had. Every Miss Bellini sounded like a betrothal to me. Miss Bellini? Oh, it still does it to me. I was in the grips of the most horrid beautiful delusion which would have been benign if I hadn't taken the final step. The final stupid, 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 stupid final step. Wait up. You better pass these round. I think they're gonna need them. Yeah. Early on a Friday, I thought it was the right day for a public demonstration of my heart's fixation. A kick along hint that would hurry on Maxwell's slight hesitation. I was impatient for relations to begin their elevation. Now the Paris was our ultimate destination. I got no bars, no quibbles, no back of my nibbles, no reservation. I had a string quartet, she had a string quartet. Forty rows of spread, forty rows. Building sprinkler home And the fire brigade came in the streets of Clone And the fire brigade came in the streets of Clone 